Hey guys, this is my second time doing this video. Basically, I got a mic to make the quality of my videos better based on your feedback. And I realized yesterday when I filmed this that I didn't have the mic on. So I just wanna go through it all again. I did that video for you guys where I listed out brown girl must have products and you loved it. And I asked if you wanted me to make it into a series. And so many of you said that you do want me to make it into a series. So here I am, I had to do it. I've done a nude lipstick one before in the past. And even though it was two years old, I actually still love every single nude lipstick in that video. So I figured it made more sense to kick off this series where I'm going deep diving into specific categories that are good for brown chicks. Start with the red lip, and it's really important because I know how the struggle is so real to find the perfect red. There's nothing that feels as good as walking into a room and wearing a bold, powerful red lip. And I'm not sitting here saying that I know all the intricacies of like how to find the perfect red lip for you. Like this is just what I know works well on me, but I have a bunch of favorites in front of me. Some are more pinky tone, some are more orangey, burgundy. I tried to vary and put in like, you know, different price ranges for all of you guys and different textures. We'll go through them all and I'll tell you why I love each of these. It was really hard to narrow it down. There's so many more that I love, but I will stop talking because I do enough of that and just get started. So first and foremost, I want to tell you about one of my OG liquid lipstick favorites. And this is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boss. This was made in collaboration with Lily Singh and it is a beautiful red that has a pink undertone to it, but I really like how it looks on my skin tone. More importantly, this formula in general, the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick is really great because it stays on your lips, but it feels comfortable and it doesn't feel heavy and it isn't as drying as other liquid lipsticks. So I actually just recommend this entire liquid lipstick line, but the shade Boss is really great on people with my skin tone and hopefully varying on both sides, a little lighter and a little darker. So now I'm moving on to one from Wander Beauty and this is the Lip Setter Dual Lipstick and Liner. This one's really cool and different and very different from the Smashbox. And this one is not a matte liquid lipstick. It's more of a moisturizing, hydrating lipstick. You get this really beautiful shine. And what I love about it is that aspect, right? Like if you really want to have a little bit of like moisturized lip kind of look, that's what this one has. But also it's dual ended. So if you're somebody who gets really nervous about putting on a red lip and want to line your lips first and then fill in with the actual lipstick, it all comes in one. Personally for me, I just start with the lipstick and take the lip liner almost as a way to just like make sure I'm carving out the sides of my lip and really sculpting it the right way. And this color is more on the side of like a burgundy red rather than a pinky red. So it's a little different, but again, think it looks really good on my skin tone. This one is the Maybelline Color Blur Shade 30 in Crimson, like these stick formulas. I almost feel like it's like a pencil or a pen or something. It makes it easy to draw on. It's matte, like the Smashbox always on, but it's not liquid lipstick, so it's not drying. So you get that matte look without the drying effect, but what you sacrifice with that is that it doesn't stay on as well as the liquid lipstick. So just depends on what you're looking for there. But this one specifically has a little bit more of the pinky undertone again. It's kind of interesting because there's burgundy, orange ones, and pink ones that I think look good for someone with my skin tone. So whatever you feel confident in and all these make me feel really good. Moving on to NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment and the shade is Star Woman, which is my most recent favorite liquid lipstick. And I love this one because well A, like the shade of it is just really pretty orange to it. It's not like an intense orange, but it leans more towards the orange tints in the red spectrum. But I think what I really love about it is that it's a really, really thin formula but it is still liquid lipstick, stays on your lips. Nothing has compared to the Smashbox in terms of feeling comfortable on my lips until this one. And this one feels just as like light and like airy while still lasting as a liquid lipstick. And the shade is really beautiful. The last thing is that I really love that the tip of this is really thin and it almost looks like a lip liner. Next up is this one from Giorgio Armani and it is Drop Dead Gorgeous. And I've talked about this before in like my Sephora haul in the past, but I had to include it in this roundup because it's that good. This formula is one like no other and so that's why I had to include it in here. It has a very velvety, buttery feeling on your lips. It almost feels like a chapstick is on there, but even better. And it has a really rich pigment. I mean, every one of these lipsticks I'm talking about has a really rich pigment. This one is a little trickier. It's burgundy with a hint of like a pink tint to it. So a little bit of a mix of both. But this one is just so beautiful, you guys. It's like a really beautiful, complex color that is really hard to explain, but it just looks really beautiful on my skin. It's so great. I'm obsessed. Next is YSL Rouge Pour Couture. I got it when I entered at L'Oreal like years ago, shade 202. Probably the first lipstick I ever fell in love with 
that was a red lipstick that just made me feel like a badass. So this YSL is definitely on the pink side. It is the truest form of a lipstick. Like when you think of a true lipstick, like back in the day when they made lipsticks and it was this feeling you got, that's what I feel when I put this lipstick on me. It even smells like the way that you would think of like a true lipstick would smell. And I don't know, there's something iconic about this YSL that feels really elevated high end and because it just takes me back. Like I really have such an attachment to it and it just feels so beautiful and the color is really great. I don't know, if you wanna like do a little splurge, this is like a good way to go. And last but not least, I think you could take a guess. Everyone is talking about it right now. Fenty Beauty, I am obsessed with this lip. It is probably out of everything we're talking about here, the truest red and it's a liquid lip and it's matte and beautiful and I love the packaging, I love the formula and I've heard from other friends of mine that are a different skin color that they don't really love it but I personally really, really do. I keep trying to use other lipsticks but then I keep going back to this because I just feel great when I put it on. And something about when I put it on, it just makes you feel like Rihanna. I wish I had her lips. She's got some good lips. I probably have the smallest lips of anyone on YouTube, but I'm gonna own that and it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, okay, so I'm obsessed with this. Out of all of them right now, I mean, I love all of these lips for all different reasons, different formulas, different price points. I love them all for different reasons. And I hope this video helped you kind of navigate and figure out a red that works for you guys. Let me know what you think down below. What was your favorite red? Or not even in here, what's your favorite red lipstick? Let's keep the combo going and help each other find perfect reds for us. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time and hopefully the sound is on right now and I don't have to do this again. Bye.